Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at building a pegboard holder for our machinist T-square. So what I've got is I've taken the model from uh, the caliber hanger, which seemed to work pretty good, and I've just added a block to it and uh, to create a blank, and then I'm going to use this as uh, and, and a template, or not a template, but a base blank to create several different objects uh, from. So I tell you what, I've done a little bit of a time lapse of creating this this whole object and, and these objects. Let's go ahead, uh, take a quick look at a time lapse build of this, and then we're going to come back and I'll talk a little bit more in detail about how the pieces go together. Okay, so one of the things in the time lapse that you've seen is again how I made I built up the block uh, by adding an uh, extra block object, and then how I mocked up the machinist T square to fit in there. And again, I want to kind of like a holster design so it hangs nice on the board, and you can kind of see how I've done this. Now I've oversized it by about 0.4 millimeters, so I should get about two on each side. Um, so I should get a nice fit in, in into the object because the plastic will contract. Um, and then, long story short, what I do now is I just convert this uh, T-square into a hole, and then I select both of these objects and then just uh, group them. And then now I've got my um, object that I can print out. and. Uh, stick on the board and hang my T-square in. Now I've created one blank that I will keep as a blank uh, so as I do other projects or objects I can just simply add you know whatever I need to it so it's kind of like a handy little tool tip. So tell you what let's go ahead let's take a watch at the time lapse of this printing and then let's go to the pegboard and see how it all comes together. Welcome back. So we took a look at uh, this being printed in time lapse, and here's the finished product. So we've cleaned up a little bit of the supports, and uh, looks pretty good. So long story short, what happens is the um, machinist square just slides in like that, and it sits nice and square uh, in in the pegboard. Whoops, if I get it in frame, so it sits nice and square inside the pegboard. And again, I'll put some. There'll be some pictures pictures up in the corner. Uh, of it on the pegboard. So this actually worked out pretty good. So it just slides in there and you just kind of pull it out when you want it. One of the other tricks, because this is a little bit thin walled here, is I did run a bead of glue, uh, Gorilla Glue. Actually I found that stuff's fantastic to create a little bit of a fillet, affiliate fillet inside here. Uh, to uh, give it some extra strength. And again, I highly recommend Gorilla Glue because it, uh, it, it it's kind of weird. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not sure if you can kind of see it in there, but uh, anyways, um, it really strengthens the, the sides of these, you know, because again, it is pretty thin um, and uh, definitely plays up the longevity. I do this with a, a lot of different prints just to build the longevity. And so anyways, hey, here you go. So if you're interested, I'm not sure if I'll put the file, this file up on Thingiverse, I might. Um, if not, the Tinkercad link will be below uh, if you want to get it and mix it up for your own. I don't know how many people have steel machinist squares. Actually, this is my, I inherited it from my grandfather. And uh, so this thing has got to be, woo, pretty, pretty old. He was a machinist for his entire life, probably about 40 years and um, you know he's been gone for many many years now unfortunately and uh, you know this is one of my mementos of his and I use it quite a bit because it is a, a fairly true square um, anyways 
So I'm not sure how many are out there. Anyways, thumbs up if you like this, if you found this interesting, got some tips from it. Subscribe to the channel. Hit me up below if you want to see something uh, in particular. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Just click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.